Hey guys, Rob here with McDojo Life, and today's McDojo news comes straight out of a kung fu movie. Two suspects sentenced to death for poisoning a martial arts school over 27 years ago, causing seven deaths. Let's check out the story. Two suspects who put poison into food at a martial arts school in China's Hanyu province 27 years ago, which led to the deaths of seven children's students, were sentenced to death on Monday, according to local court. According to a statement by the Ma'an Shan People's Independent Court on Monday afternoon in Anhu province, the suspects must also pay economic compensation to the victims' families. Two suspects, Fu Zhejie and Zhu Zhu Lin, had been on the run until they were arrested in May, according to the previous information from local authorities. Around 1994, Zhu ran a training institute for martial arts, or Wushu, with another person in the county surnamed Ping. Due to business conflicts, Ping quit the institute and took most of the institute's students and some of the workers to establish a new Nanbei Shaolin Martial Arts School in October of 1995, according to the court statement. Fu joined the new martial arts school as a coach in August of 1996, but later became dissatisfied with Ping over trivial matters. Then, Fu and Zhu planned to ruin Ping's school, ultimately deciding on poisoning. Zhu promised to pay Fu 50,000 yuan, which is roughly 6,980 US dollars, for the poisoning, and gave a 500 yuan down payment, the local police said at a news conference in late October. On the night of June 29th, 1997, Fu snuck into the school's kitchen, put two packs of rat poisoning into the pickled vegetables, then stirred the food before running away. The following morning, more than 100 teachers and students started to show symptoms of vomiting and convulsions, and seven children's students later died, according to the court records. After the poisoning, Fu tried to contact Zhu twice via phone. The first call connected but was disconnected, and the second call never connected at all, according to local police. The police identified the pair as suspects, but were unable to locate them and added them to the national wanted list. In the past decades, Fu and Zhu had never met each other until they were both arrested in May. The victims' families also sought economic compensation, totaling 7.65 million yuan, according to a report released on Sunday by Jammu News, a Hubei-based news outlet. The court's Monday statement did not mention the judge sum of economic compensation. Let's unpack that. First off, I want to say I apologize for most likely butchering every one of those names in this video. That was not my intent. It just is what it is. I tried my best. But as for the crime, it seems like two people were mad at the same guy, decided to team up, and poison the entire school because of their disagreement with one person. That's right. Out of all of those people who got sick, over a hundred, only seven died and they were kids. See, this is an issue that I have whenever people start bickering back and forth about petty, what they call martial arts politics. All martial arts politics really is, is two people who are upset at each other over something most likely trivial or petty, and they bring their entire student base into it. You're not allowed to train at such and such school because I don't like such and such. It's nonsense, and it's one of those things I've been trying to fight against in the industry forever. Your students should have nothing to do with your personal petty arguments with other martial arts instructors. This is just one of many examples of how students themselves wind up getting hurt or killed because two adults, supposed adults anyway, who are in charge of students decide that they're going to bring students into the, the matter. These two went so far as to literally kill children because they had petty differences with one person. Not only killing seven, but making uh, over a hundred violently ill and could have killed more. This brings us to the question of the day. Have you yourself ever been involved in martial arts politics? Maybe you yourself or someone you know has been involved in something like this where you were told you can't go train somewhere or you lost friends because of martial arts bickering or instructors in fighting. I'd love to hear your stories about that in the comment sections below. Be sure to answer that question in the comment sections below so that way I know you watch the entire video. As always, thank you all for the likes, comments, shares, subscriptions, and memberships. Keep the martial arts legit. My baby got robbed the other day by degenerates. So she wanted to learn some new form of this self-defense. So she did her research and perused the timeline and found this tool said he could move shit with his mind. He called himself C for parts in my mind. He got a dojo with a strip on the Cinnabon Now she spends all day trying to break boards with the thoughts But the only thing she's breaking is